One look at the collection of photos of his life is enough to tell you Aldo Leopold loved the outdoors. A love born from growing up along the Mississippi River in Iowa, a love nurtured by his father. And his father was unusual that he restricted his own hunting in the spring. And there were no, there were few laws at that time that said don't shoot your ducks in the spring because they're having babies. Um, so they restricted themselves. And so it was planted the seed of thought that nature was not simply there for human convenience. To Leopold, humans had a responsibility to fit in and to care for nature. He called it the land ethic, and it became the driving force behind his life that he passed on as a teacher at the University of Wisconsin in the 1920s and 30s, and later through his book, A Sand County Almanac. There are two spiritual dangers in not owning a farm. One is the danger of supposing that breakfast comes from the grocery, and the other that heat comes from the furnace. Madeline Leopold is Aldo's granddaughter. You learned by walking with him, and he would say, well, what do you think about that? What was that all about? All his children are scientists and naturalists, so he must have been a very inspiring person in a quiet way. Did he bring students up here? Oh, yes. Okay. Trish Stevenson is another of Leopold's granddaughters. She walked us through his now famous plot of land on the Wisconsin River in Sauk County called the Shack. So this is the shack. It is. This is the original old chicken coop. He did not write his Sand County Almanac essays here, um, although this place is the heartbeat of those ideas that he describes in Sand County Almanac. They really were here to restore the land. They planted over um, a 15-year time period, 50,000 trees. This was Aldo Leopold's window on nature, where he practiced what he preached when it came to land restoration and conservation, a place he spent many, many weekends. And he spent his weeks here at the University of Wisconsin as the head of the UW's first wildlife department. And one of his first graduate students was the husband of Marie McCabe. And he hunted quite a bit with Leopold, and I'm sure learned many things that way. Talk about how he, uh, how he saw Aldo Leopold. Well, pretty much as a saint, I think, a very knowledgeable saint, because he uh, was always impressed with the fact that Leopold acted so humble. He was quiet, he was, he was forceful, but he was always quiet, sp spoken. In fact, Bob McCabe was such a Leopold disciple that he wrote a book about their life at the UW, The Professor. Marie remembers her own lesson taught by Leopold during a dinner invitation. So I served a pheasant. And he told me afterwards very gently, he said, you really don't need to cook pheasant very long. <laughs> and I suppose he thought I had overdone it a bit, but he was very tactful and sweet about it. <laughs>